Today's episode of Potsky Outdoors comes to you from West Virginia's Panhandle, where we're doing something a little bit different today. Now, you know, we travel all across the United States, and most of you guys have seen our videos from fishing for trout all over North America, Canada, the United States, it doesn't matter where it is. And we hear some people complain that West Virginia DNR is not doing enough to stock their streams. We hear the complaint over and over again, they don't stock enough fish here. Well, guys, I'm here to tell you, you guys should be treasuring the program you guys have, okay? Very few places in North America do they stock streams every single week. And I mean every week, March, April, and May. They also get stockings in January, February, and then a bonus stocking in the fall. We come back to West Virginia to film all the time because frankly, they have one of the top stocking programs in the United States. Now we're on the panhandle here, minutes from Martinsburg on a small stream. They call this Middle Creek. It is no stranger to anybody. All right, so we're gonna show you how they stock some of these small streams on the panhandle. This is Middle Creek. And as you can see, when we say small, that's kind of an understatement. You saw some come in behind me. Now this is exactly what they do. Taking them right off the truck right here. Anybody that lives in this area fishes miles upon miles of this tiny little stream that most people think doesn't even get stocked because it's too small. It does. This is one of more than a dozen, if not more water stocked by the West Virginia DNR in this greater Martinsburg area. Within, I would say an hour each direction of here, there are tons of tributaries, most of which are tributaries to the Opecan Creek and other areas in here like the Potomac River. They're small tributaries, but you know what? Farmers offer public access. Sometimes private landowners offer public access. And the West Virginia DNR goes out of their way to stock small streams like this. Guys, this is hard work. And by hard work, I mean, they were driving their trucks through fields. You're gonna see a stocking truck right here, okay? This is a small stocking truck. What it means is we saw them basically take a big stocking truck, transfer the fish to a small truck so they could stock small stretches for you guys and spread them out all over different streams. Now we called the WVDNR and said, guys, we wanna do something different today. So many people ask us, how does West Virginia stock so much water? Can we follow you and basically watch exactly what you do? Sure enough, they invited us. They said, hey, pick the day. We'd love for you to show people what we do. All right, so you see us driving through farm fields right now, and uh, we are following the stocking truck to show you guys exactly what they do here on the Panhandle. Uh, we're just following them to show you guys what they do. Now, this is pretty incredible, the amount of work that the state goes through to stock different places for sportsmen to have a resource that they enjoy. And you're gonna see these guys come right up here and stock every section of this tiny little creek. We're going to follow them and show you exactly what they do. As we followed them, we really quickly found out what kind of work these guys do. They're not lazy. They worked as hard as they could. They ran buckets all over the place so they could spread the fish out for anglers. Instead of doing what other states do, simply pull up to a bridge, dump everything off and go back to the hatchery and, you know, hang out. They don't do that. What was interesting is every stop we went to with these guys, there were people waiting, almost like it was Christmas Eve and they knew fish were coming. We could not believe it from stop after stop after stop. People were waiting. They knew these fish were there. Now watch these guys. I put the drone up and we watched them go right through a field on a private piece of property that has been open to walk-in access for anglers. And you can see them spread these fish out over a half mile section just so you guys could enjoy those. Now we spent half the day doing that. Afterwards we broke away from the truck. We drove about 30 minutes away to another section of streams here. And when we got to the parking area, there was a dozen cars there. We got to the next area, there was a dozen cars there. Guys, this is a Wednesday afternoon. We couldn't believe it. We figured we'll fish during the week, we'll get away from crowds. Sure enough, there was another place that they call the social security hole, we're told, a huge hole on nearby Mill Creek. We couldn't believe the number of people that were there on a Wednesday. Check this out, we just found a sweet hole on Mill Creek, right off the side of the road. The road is literally right there. And uh, I've seen a couple porpoise. So let's see what happens. Tossing in. What do you have on there? Orange Deluxe is my starting lineup. Orange Deluxe. Oh, first cast. Okay. Yes. 
first cast. What is it? A, a rainbow? Rainbow, 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 rainbow. Oh my gosh. Ooh! Yes! I knew this hole was fire. Oh my gosh. Get him in there. <laughs> Look at this run, dude. All right, we're out on Mill Creek here in West Virginia. Uh, as you can tell, it's a pretty small stream, so I've made a couple slight modifications to my rig. I want to go over with that. So first off, I'm using an ultralight rod, and this is actually a 7 foot 6 ultralight. Uh, honestly, it doesn't really matter what rod you use on a stream like this, but I would recommend ultralight. And I'm using a bobber rig. So if you look right over here, you'll see a nice, clear, small float. And that's for a stealthy presentation, but uh, generally speaking, any small bobber is going to work. And if you look right below that, I've got a split shot, another split shot, and a third split shot. They're spread out. And what that does is in this fast current behind me here, it allows that egg to get shot down to the bottom right where the fish are at. And that's important because if you're not using split shot like this and you cast into fast current like this, your egg's not going to get down into the strike zone. That's not good. You're not going to you're not going to catch as many fish as you could if you have the weight properly placed on your line. And then right below that, you're going to see the split shots stop. No split shots for about 18 inches. And that's where I have my four pound test fluorocarbon. And that's where it gets stealthier because this is a clear stream as well. You don't want to use heavy line. And then that goes down to a small hook. That's a size 12. I wouldn't recommend using anything bigger. Um, and then my best bait here was Orange Deluxe. And I'm going to show you how I put it on the hook. You got one egg here and you just pierce it with the hook. Try to bury that hook in there as much as you can because that adds for a stealthy presentation and the eggs are so soft that when you set the hook, the hook's gonna come flying right through the egg anyway, so you don't have to worry about this blocking your hook set percentage. It'll fall right off on a hook set, but that is the presentation that's killing them here today on Mill Creek. I'm calling it, look how scrumptious Orange that looks. Deluxe. Orange Deluxe. Oh, dude, I just saw a little tap tap. A little tap. Oh, he tapped it again. Stuck him. Rainbow action. Oh, gosh. Rainbow savagery. Ooh. In the net. Called it, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, get him. Got him. Yeah. How come your brother couldn't do that? Right in the same spot. Right here. Little rainbow. Little rainbow, baby. Let's see if we can get a bobber down. That was a, that was a pretty nice clip. Yeah, that was nice. Get back oh, oh my god, he tried to eat your bobber. He hit the bobber. He tried to hit the float. I got that whole thing on film. That was a giant. No way. <laughs> that was a giant too. He ate your bobber. That's the one your brother just lost. Yeah, probably. So today guys, you know, I use a lot of different kinds of eggs. Uh, today we're going to show you a collar combination that I like to use. And I uh, use some uh, Potsky Premiums with a natural deluxe on the back. So here's what I do. I just take out a couple premium eggs. Drop that down there. Couple premiums on the hook. I'm using a size 10 hook. And then a natural deluxe on the back. Just like that. Good one, dude! Is that a brook? That's a brook. It's a big brook. That's a brook. Oh. Oh Lord, it's something good. It's something good. Caught a lot of nice fish. Oh, dude, it's a brookie. <laughs> Put that brookazoid in the net. Oh! Solid. <laughs> Check this out. We're on Mill Creek and I just pulled out a gorgeous brookie. I'm freaking fired up, dude. Oh my gosh. This is a solid fish. Look at this.
Dude, this you is just, unreal. You just switched to the fire bait. This. You just switched to that fire bait? Oh my god. Dude. Oh my god, it's big. The garlic salmon egg. It's big. Is it a brookie oh, or a rainbow? I don't, I don't know what it is, but it's big. <laughs> Dude, what is going on? How is my luck? Oh my god. Please land this fish. It's giant. It's fighting like a steely. Well, you know what's interesting? We've been here for three days. You haven't caught any tanks. And, and all just, of a sudden, one hole. I got a turkey, changes. baby. I got yeah. a turkey. I'm pulling 300 today, baby. <laughs> Oh my God, it's the biggest fish of the day. It's, it's a, the biggest fish of the day. Is it a brookie? That's a brookie, I can tell from here. Oh my God, there's you no way. You see how it's like a- There's no way. It doesn't have the rainbow side to it. There's no way it's a Look brookie. Look at that, I'll tell you right now. Oh my God. That's a, that's a brookie. That might have been the one Mike lost. Yeah, it might have been. Oh, it is a brookie! Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, no way. Oh my God, oh he's bigger than the last God, one. He's dude. bigger than the last one. <laughs> oh my God. I think no that's the one Mike lost. Way. Dude, Mike missed him on garlic salmon egg and you put the same thing on, he ate oh again. Oh my God, dude. Listen, Mill Creek is unbelievable. What is on with my luck today? I did something good. I don't know what it is, but good karma's coming back my way. Okay, you guys just saw me catch a giant brook trout and I wanna talk about a modification that I did to my rig to fish fire bait under a float. So first off, let me show you the pre-work that I did for today. I like fishing fire bait a lot and I don't like getting dirty on the creek, garlicky hands and fingers. So I pre-rolled a bunch of balls of the fire bait because it comes solid in the jar. You can do this on the creek side, I just prefer to do it before the trip. That way once I'm out here, I don't smell like a garlic ball. Uh, but what you do is you take out one small piece. I personally think the smaller the better especially when you're fishing it under a float. Basically egg size. Now what I do when I fish it under a float is I either use a jig head or if I don't have a jig head I take a split shot and I slide it all the way down to my hook and that's what's going to allow this to sink into the strike zone because this is a floating bait. I flatten it just like this. I put the split shot right in the center of it, okay? And I actually mold it, I remold it around the split shot. I'm still using my small size 12 hook. And that's what you get when you're fishing fire bait under a float in this strong current. That's a big one! Oh my god, it's a bigger brookie! That's a bigger brookie than the last one! How is that even possible? Dude, it's, I upgraded on Mill Creek! I just upgraded! Are you... Ooh, I almost blew an F-bomb, dude. Oh, it is a nice one. even bigger upgrade! That is a nice one, dude. Oh my god. That's fine. Oh my god. I'm shaking, dude. I'm shaking. Is that the biggest one you got? <laughs> is that the biggest dude, one? Dude, that is a tank. No way, dude. Oh my god. I'm struggling, but look at him, dude. It's a giant for Mill Creek. Dude, dude. Oh, yeah. Dude, oh, it's a goldie. Oh my gosh, it's a goldie. Oh it's a goldie. Gosh. It's a goldie. I didn't even see that one in there. Hey, I'm telling you what, people are sitting at home with this COVID stuff. <laughs> And I'm catching fish. Well, you had COVID already. <laughs> I had COVID already. I'm still alive. Thank you, Lord. Yes. It's not a biggest. Goldie, meet Brookie. Back to back. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Now, this spot is on Mill Creek. You can go online, figure out where that is, just like everybody else does. We, all th we went out there today, and we fished several different baits, okay? Jarrett used orange deluxe salmon eggs. It's one of his favorites, and these fish just chomp them. Now, the other thing, Uncle Pat started off with natural deluxe and premium. He calls it the strawberry shortcake. We caught plenty of fish on that as well. Now, after Jarrett caught a few on yellow jackets, he switched over to garlic salmon egg fire bait and almost instantly, pow, got a nice brook trout. Now, Mike, he had a little bit of a slow time today. But you know what? He got in there and did one heck of a job netting fish for us. However, keep an eye on the last trout we caught of the day. We were packing up, turning around, and Pat said, Hey, Chris, can I do it? I'm going to put shrimp fire gel on an artificial and throw it out there, and I guarantee you I'm going to catch a big one. I've been eyeing this fish. Sure enough, Pat came through with one of the book biggest brookies he's ever caught. It was pretty impressive. What's most impressive to us is you can catch a golden a rainbow, a brown, and a brook, all in Little Mill Creek here on the Panhandle without even shuffling your feet. Get out there, get away from crowds, and do what we did. Enjoy a great afternoon here, trout fishing the Panhandle.
Potsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to Potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order. Dude. Uh. I upgraded. Very next cast. I upgraded. Look at this. Just when I thought I was on fire with a medium-sized brookie, I came in with a large. There he is. Go! Oh.